Hey there. I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk to all of you out there. And I don't know where this video will take you or me or any other thing, but I have been feeling kind of led to make this video in just the sense that it feels like it's really needed right now. I think what people really need the most is encouragement. And I think that encouragement has to be coming from inside yourself. Yes, you can have outside validation. Yes, you can have uh, people telling you that you should do such and such. But don't you know inside your heart that something is right for you? And I believe that if it's put on your heart, it's put on your heart for a reason. It's not an accident. And then if you don't take action on that, you're always going to think about it. It will never leave you because it's meant for you. And I don't understand, but at the same time I do, why people are so afraid to pursue their dreams. Why they're so afraid to take that first step. I started my channel, oh, not even eight months ago. And when I posted that first video, let me tell you, I was terrified of being on film. I was terrified of taking a picture of myself. And I don't know if anybody out there relates to that, but I am not a camera person <laughs> at all. But there was something about starting a channel that felt like a personal goal for myself, where I could say, okay, I have this insecurity, right? I have this insecurity about cameras and selfies and all these kind of things. But at the same time, I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I said, well, why can't I get over that fear? Why am I letting myself hold myself back from doing the thing that I want to do? Because for whatever reason, I want to have a YouTube channel. And here I am, like, I'm terrified of cameras. I'm terrified of being, having my picture taken. It's like the worst thing that you could possibly do. But... I still want to do it. It's like, where does that come from? Where does that desire come from? Well, I think it comes from God, number one, but I also think it comes from what we're meant to do, what we're called to do. Are we supposed to do something that makes us scared? You know, sometimes you have to do things scared. If you don't know what you're doing, you can't see the entire staircase, but you still need to take that first step. And I really think that a lot of people are kind of at that point where they're at the bottom of the staircase and they don't know how to take that first step. But here's the truth. You will never know how to take the first step until you take the first step. And then once you take the first step, you'll take the second step, and the third step, and the fourth step. And then before you know it, you'll be at the top of the staircase looking for the second staircase. And you're going to tell yourself, my goodness, why did I wait so long? Why did I wait so long to pursue the thing that lit me up? Why did I wait so long when I felt like it was for me? that was for me. And I don't know if any of you relate to this because I can't talk to you personally, but I'd like to give you a hug. I'd like to say, hey, what is holding you back from doing the thing that you want to do? Tell me in the comments, what is the thing that's holding you back? I'd love to try to help you because you know what? I've been there. I've been in your shoes. I don't know if you want to start a YouTube channel or pursue a career or start an art school or whatever it is that you want to do. It doesn't really matter what you want to do, but it does matter that you listen to that voice inside of yourself and you take the action because you know what? No one else is going to do it for you. I don't think it's a good idea to wait for somebody to tell you to do something. I don't think it's a good idea to wait and ask for permission to do something. And I feel like if you wait, you're going to be waiting a long time. And so I just want to encourage everybody out there you have a passion. You know what that passion is. You have that desire. Maybe it's been on your mind for years. Maybe it's been on your mind for decades. In my case, I thought about doing a YouTube channel for probably 10 years. I didn't realize until years later that I had been thinking about it for years. So you know what that is. You feel that small voice inside of you telling you this is for you. And the question is, are you going to be brave enough 
to step out of that comfort zone and do it. Because I'm telling you, outside of the comfort zone is everything that you want. And it may be difficult. I mean, I'm going to not lie to you. Making a YouTube video is very difficult. It takes time. It takes effort. It takes planning. But it's so worth it. I mean, just, just to reach one person is the most wonderful feeling. And you don't know what you're going to talk to, who you're going to talk to. You don't know what people need to hear. But if you don't put yourself out there and you don't take that step in the direction of your dreams, you're going to be in the same place in a year. And I told myself one day, I'm saying to myself, no, no, I am not going to be that person that says no to what I want. I'm not going to be that person who says, I don't deserve that. I'm not going to be that person that says, I can't do that because that is a lie. That is a lie. You can do anything you set your mind to. And so I just want to encourage anybody out there, anybody, take the step. Go in the direction of your dreams. It doesn't matter what that step is. It doesn't matter how small it is. It doesn't matter how big it is. It's your dream. It's your dream. And you are the one that can make it happen. And I just think that's the coolest news because no one else is telling you to do that. You have to do it for yourself. Do you believe in yourself enough to say, I'm going to do this. I am going to take that step. I'm going to write that letter. I'm going to make that phone call. I am going to pursue that person. I am going to do that thing that scares me so much that I tremble. Because everything that you want is on the other side of fear. And, you know, fear should not control us. And so, you know, I've just said no to fear. No to fear, yes to myself. What do you have to lose? I would love to know. What do you have to lose? Are you going to look at yourself in the mirror and say, well, I don't think it's possible for me. But what if it is possible for you? What if you just haven't believed it yet? And what if you just need to take that one step that makes you believe that? Because you know what? I didn't know if it was possible for me start this channel but I'm going at it with faith and trust that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing because I have a message that I need to share I grew up feeling very insecure in school and I didn't know what I wanted to do but I knew that I didn't want to be like people that made me feel the way that I felt so when I started this channel I said I'm not going to make people feel that way I'm going to be different I'm going to make them feel like they can do it that they're worth it, and that their desires are important. Because that validation is what we all crave. We all want that. Are you going to be the one to change your life? Are you going to take that step? Because no one will take it for you. But the great thing is that once you take that responsibility for your life, magical things can happen. And you're going to start believing in yourself like you've never believed in yourself before. And that confidence is not something you're born with. You just take that step. You go at it. You're fearful anyway. And you just keep doing it. I wish you all the best. And I hope everything for you in the future.